guys. Um, today is Wednesday. Um, we're going to camp out this weekend. It's the holiday. And, um, so, but, uh, I just wanted to do an update. I was talking to the neighbors. Uh, it's going to be two weeks on Sunday. It'll be uh, two weeks that I saw this thing. And, um, so, I just, things are just so darn strange. Do you believe that tree? Uh, I'm going to do an update because it was bothering me. Oh, uh, actually, you'll see it, like, right after this. Um, it was bothering me why that bag of, I thought it was dog food, but, uh, and you're going to see that in just a little bit, but why that bag was in the middle of the woods. And so there's just some strange happenings here. But talking to the neighbors, um, they said possibly that that uh, grunt that I heard was more like a snort. It was like deer because um, he had... Um, had the deer snort at him, and I thought, well, you know what, it kind of did uh, sound like a snort, grunt, whatever, snort or grunt, but um, anyway, um, it's real interesting here to see, um, it's so strange, it's just the strangest thing, and um, so I'm in the woods here, got my boots on and all, but um, I'm looking forward to the weekend, um, camping out, and uh, I, of course it's going to be dark, so I'm not going to be able to see anything, but I am going to have the uh, recorder going so that I can maybe catch something as far as audio or some sounds because we had the window open um, and I've lived in the country all my life but I've heard some strange things like down in there for instance it's weird looking but um, the sounds that I heard it's easy to say, well, I think you saw or heard a owl or something. But, um, it's not an owl. And, um, when you're looking here, like, you know, for tracks and stuff, I mean, I see deer now and then, but, um, it just, well, look. There is a turtle. That's a box turtle. And, um, so, uh, but anyway, um, the, uh, the sounds in that, I hope to capture, um, some audio. The shrieky, kind of like, uh, owl kind of like but I don't know what it is kind of like but um at my mother's farm uh, we had three dens of coyotes and you can easily tell the difference between uh the coyotes and other things and this shrieky kind of a sound that I heard here um it was just odd, just very odd. So, anyway, um, hopefully this weekend I'll capture some sounds. But um, I just wanted to come over here because um, it just kind of seems weird here. <laughs> so that's a good reason, right? But look at these trees. I mean, halfway, cracked, broken. Huh, just 
weird. Just, I mean, really, who could, who could just think? Look at another, another weird tree. But, uh, I think trees tell, tell a lot. I think you can tell, like in the woods, I think trees tell a story. And, um, so hopefully, um, later on, uh, well, coming up next in the video was I had to go back to that dog food or that, uh, food because, and you'll see that coming up, but, um, weirdest thing but okay so that's the update on the grunt is uh maybe a snort maybe who knows but uh i shall see you in a little bit stay tuned hey guys okay i am back to this spot again um you know when you get that feeling? It's just that thing inside, those little things that just say, what in the world is this doing in the middle of the woods? Now, granted, I mean, I'm thinking that I'm 50 feet in or something like that. And something has carried this feed bag from God knows where. I couldn't even imagine where, where because no one here has any cattle. So no one has any horses either, or pigs or sheep or anything. Um, so here's this in the middle of the woods. Not in the middle, but I mean, here's this in, in woods. Because, you know, I'm talking probably roughly maybe 100 or 80 feet. Okay, maybe somewhere between 60 and 100. And I shouldn't be too far off. But in this middle of this wooded area is this bag. Now it sure looks like it would be good feed for animals and I'm thinking something ate this bag of food. And how would this bag get in here in all, in these woods? How would the here's a okay, so there's a 360. It's it's at least um, you know, it's at least 60 or 100 feet in from the edge. So, wind couldn't blow this in here because it would get hung up on trees. The trees are so wooded, it would stop on the, out, on the outer edge. It would stop there and the wind wouldn't be able to blow it through, through the trees. So... Here it is sitting in the middle of the woods. And um, other than, you know, there's dogs. Uh, neighbors have like two do or three dachshund dogs and they don't go roaming around. And there's the other neighbors, I think. Um, I'm not sure what kind of dogs they are. They're mixed breed, but they're fenced in. Uh, they're behind chain link fence all the time. We don't have any dogs or we don't have any animals either so um, But so here's this odd bag of feed in the middle of nowhere And I just think it's very very strange so um, the other day I had friends over and um, We were talking about uh, You know what I saw and although you know you're 
your mind would tell you it's probably a bear, you know. And then there's that other thing that says, well, no, no, wait a minute. It didn't have that kind of shaped head. It didn't have that snoot that a bear has. So how could it be a bear if it doesn't have that kind of face? And then um, even like I could make the outline of shoulders. Uh, bear don't have that kind of shoulders. And so anyway, I'm still, it's still kind of uh, a mystery. But this was bothering me. So I came and... Um, to see what this bag was and I saw it the other day but I didn't go turn it over and see what it was or anything but uh I just think that this is so strange to be in the middle of a woods when how would it get here I mean wind would be the only way and wind cannot bring this in the middle of the woods it would get hung up on trees so having friends over I was talking about this I said you know I got to go back up there that's bothering me that bag it's just out of place. It shouldn't be there. And the uh, guy was telling me that over on the next road, years ago, um, there was a sighting of, like, a creature. And it tore the door off of uh, a bill of one of the sheds or whatever. Just tore the thing right off. And then someone saw a the arm um, as it turned around the shed someone saw the arm and it was you know furry and hairy and all that and then it was gone and this was maybe like 15 years ago or 10 or 15 years ago he said it was some time back but it was over on the next road the the road after us and um so I just thought that that was interesting very very interesting story and uh, he says well Keep on the lookout because, you know, you just might see something. So I was telling him, like I said, about this. And it's just so out of place here. It just doesn't belong. As you can see, there's, it's just woods, 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 woods everywhere. So, um, but anyway, so I had to come back and get that. And that's something how things just bother you sometimes. So, um. But uh, anyways, I think I'm going to keep that with me. So, um, okay, so that's the thing about the bag of food. Probably was good dinner for somebody. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like me and, and so you get my updates because this is going to be very interesting. If, uh, if I can see something, that would be so awesome. Okay, have a great day.